Hello boys and girls, welcome to color carpet time. That time of day we get to gather around our big color carpet here in class. We get to practice our letters and the sounds they make and words that we create. Sometimes we get to substitute uh, sounds into words to create new words. Sometimes we get to delete sounds. And that's what we're going to do today. Like I'm going to give you a word like say swing. And I'm going to tell you to take the second sound out of swing. What is the second sound in swing? S W is the sound. So let me take w out of swing, and I'm left with sing. Swing becomes sing, okay? So we're going to delete second sounds. Brawl is the word. Take out the second sound, and what are you left with? Ball. Brawl becomes ball. Good. Now we have brag. Take out the second sound in brag, and we get bag. Good. How about slide? Take out the second sound of, sound of slide and you have side, right? Side, very good. Drive. Take the second sound out of drive and you get dive. Very good. So that's deleting some second sounds. Very nicely done. Okay. Speaking of sounds, we had a bunch of sounds and compound words to look for this week. Did you find any? Did you send them in? Uh, well, I am waiting on a delivery of our new words from our latest, uh, our latest submissions. Oh, HR Rough and Stuff with my notes. Thank you very much, HR. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. T. Thank you for giving me such a valuable mission. No problem. It was a mission for a superhero, and you are a superhero. My thank you. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Yeah, I bet you they are. I bet you they are. And uh, you know what? Seeing you makes it even better. Why, thank you, Mr. T. Hi, one. Psh, I'll see you later. All right. There he goes. Into the night. So we have our notes. Let me get my whiteboard here so that we can give you credit for your words you sent in. Thank you very much to everybody that did it all week long. I got a ton of words. I'm not going to be able to share all your words, but I'm going to be able to share a good number of them, okay? So first off, Eva sent us words like auto and claw and head, hood, uh, also sent us dead. All these words. Eva sent a bunch of words, so I chose a few for us to look at. And there's our A U A W E A O O E A, all those different words. Thank you very much, Eva. We had Ben who sent us fraud with our A U and raw with our A W and talk with our ALK and fawn with our AW. There's some words there. We have uh, Duke sent us in dog food, which is a compound word. It is dog and food. Dog food. Very nice. Duke. Anara sent us because with our AU. And moon, as well as soon, and uh, she sent us head, very nice, and a bunch of others. Thank you very, very much. Nice job, Anara. All right, we're going to try and fit the rest on here. We have Dylan, who sent look, and... Awful. And there's our, let me make sure I mark our letter combinations. I, I, I missed a couple of them there. Okay, and haunt. And there's our AU. Boots. And claw. There's our AW claw. All right. Very nicely done. Thank you to everybody who sent words in for us this week. I really appreciate that. You're helping everybody out. Like, not only are you finding 
uh, were these letter combinations in words, but you're giving it to us to put on this board and it's getting other people to see them also. So thank you. You are helping teach right now. You're doing a great job. Now, we have uh, talked about questions during the week. During the week, we had questions. And at the end of a question, no matter what word you use, when, where, why, how, whatever word you use to, to ask a question, at the end of your question, you have this symbol, the question mark. So I could say, who are you? Question mark. What are you doing here? Question mark. What did you eat for dinner? Question mark. How did you get here? Question mark, right? Make sure when we ask a question, when we write it down, that you have this symbol there, the question mark. If you do just a simple question like, who are you? Question mark. If you do a compound question, and that's taking two questions and combining them. Who are you and why are you here? See how I combined it with the word and. It's got to have our question mark, right? Okay. Now, another thing we started talking about this week are compound words. And I came up with a few examples for us. A few examples for compound words. We have words like campground. And as you can see, campground is made up of camp and ground. Two words that can be used on their own. But you put them together, it becomes a compound word. Campground. Campground. Let's see. Well, so to go along with the campground, we have backpack, made up of back and pack. We have maybe something you'll see when you're out camping. Sunflower, made up of sun and flower. Also, something that uh, I need. Haircut. Hair and cut. Haircut, right? Yeah, and we have airplane. Oops, can't forget that E. Air and plane. Air and plane. I almost left that E off because it's silent. There's our A sound, right? It's got that silent bossy E there at the end. I almost forgot it. We have airplane. And also, in math and in writing, um, I talk about doing a brainstorm and that's made up of brain and storm and that's kind of a it's kind of funny because we've been talking about storms uh, quite a bit and a brainstorm is not one of them that we talked about right and all that means is that you're you're thinking you have a lot of thoughts going on so it's kind of like a storm of thoughts like a couple days ago we had hail so all those little pieces of ice fell down well think of those as thoughts that's a brainstorm all right? Those are all your thoughts coming down. Only um, it doesn't uh, pelt your, you or your car. right? <laughs> or your scooter or your bike. Like If you're out and your thoughts started pelting you, it wouldn't uh, hurt like a, a, a getting hit by little blocks of ice can. <laughs> Alright, so that is compound words. We've gone over questions. We talked about our letter combinations. Now, we have one thing more to do, don't we? And that is welcome a guest. Oh. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Duck with another wonderful entrance. Welcome, Mrs. Duck. How are you? Hello, Mr. T, and hello, boys and girls. It is I, Mrs. Duck, ready for the Friday Mrs. Duck Sight Word Challenge. What are, you, what are you looking at, Mrs. Duck? Oh, nothing. I was just staring off thinking about this challenge. Yes. So I need to get our, our cards, don't we? We need to go over our sight words. Why, yes, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. We've got our cards. I know you've been studying, boys and girls, that we've been studying as well. We are ready for this, okay? Here we go. No! Hmm? People! Good. Hmm? 
Number. Number, good, okay. Way. Mm -hmm. Very good. Could. Good, all right. Boys and girls, how did you do? I'm sure you did wonderful. Mrs. Duck, you did great as well. Thank you guys for trying so hard. Hey, we have some work to do, don't we? Yes, we do. I'll go over here and have a seat, and I'll start picking out some new sight words for next week. Oh, you're going to make the list? Yes, some special sight words for next week, boys and girls. <laughs> there she goes to make our sight word list. All right, boys and girls, what we're going to do is start off with our spelling word packet. Rainbow, write your spelling words three times each. Also in your spelling word packet, the last page, the A-R and O-R words. You're going to color A-R words green, O-R words orange. So you're using green and orange there. We're also going to take a look at page 6.49, words with O-O and E-O, O-O and E-A. All right, so you're going to complete those words. You're going to complete those words. Now, one last thing before we go. One last little game. And it comes in the form of this raining cats and dogs. At the very back of our book, we have Find Anna's Best Friend. Go over here. Find Anna's Best Friend. So we're going to look at the picture. And I'm going to... I am going to ask you these questions. One, two, three, four, five. And it's asking a question on if this is her best friend. Now all you have to do is put numbers one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to put no, 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 until we find the best friend. Or maybe the first one is the best friend. Okay, so you're just going to put either yes or no. First up, is it Sean? He is yawning. So let's find Sean. Is that Anna's best friend? Yes or no? Is it Dawn? She is talking to her good pal. Is it Dawn talking to her? So find the person talking to their good pal. Is it them? Is it Tom? He is ready to lift a heavy book. So find the person lifting a heavy book. Is it, are they on his best friend? Is it Penny? She's drawing a roof on a house. Is Penny on his best friend? Is it Kim? She is drawing with chalk. What words did she use? Who is drawing with chalk and what words did she use? Okay, so who is Anna's best friend? You know, you could write down the numbers and go and say yes, no, 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 whoever it is. Or you can just write the name of Anna's best friend and hold it up and take a picture. Okay? All right, boys and girls, thank you very much for joining me for Colored carpet time. Thank you for working so hard all week long. Now go and enjoy your weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.